Hey guys, it's Alina from Alpha Scene here, joined by our guest of the day, Lulu Boy. And today he's going to be joining me in unboxing the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. So I sold my other one, the Rode VideoMic Go, because I didn't think it was performing uh, as good sound quality as I wanted and as I was expecting from it. So today I'm going to be unboxing this microphone. And I'm going to be comparing it to the microphone that you see here on the table, which I bought off eBay for $20. And I'm going to show you the sound that I get from this with no editing. And I'm going to show you the sound I get from this with no editing. But you can probably hear the sound right now, because right now I'm using this one. And I'm not going to edit the whole video, the sound at all, just so you guys can expect what you can get from these microphones without any editing, real life performance. So let's get right into the unboxing. All right, let's get into the unboxing of the Rode VideoMic Pro. So, I'm gonna have to lift it up, and if the camera goes out, if the, I mean, microphone goes outside of the frame of the camera, don't worry, I'm gonna bring it back so you guys can see, because this can be challenging to unbox, so sometimes I'll have to move it away, unbox it, and bring it back. So, with these microphones, it's very simple. All you get is pretty much the microphone, which you can see like this, and you also get the cable involved as well. So what's different about this microphone is that it has a battery. So these are the cables, you just plug it into your camera. That's the charger, USB, let me have a look, USB-C charger. And this is the cable, just plug it into the camera. So what's special about this one, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, is that it actually um, apparently has better sound quality. It's wireless and the main feature is that it can um, what can it do? It can it turn on and turn off as you're using the microphone. So when you're not using it, when it's not plugged into the camera, it will automatically turn itself off. And when you're using it, it will automatically turn itself on, which is really useful. So if you forget to turn it off, you won't waste any batteries as it's just gonna turn itself off. So here we go. So this is where you plug in the battery. This one's very easy to plug in compared to the Rode VideoMic Pro, the standard one and it comes with a battery included. With the Rode VideoMic Pro, the battery is not included and with the Rode VideoMic Go, there's no battery, it's just a wired headset on its own. So you just plug the battery in like this, there's only one way of plugging it in, push it all the way and close the clip. And that's it. So now I'm gonna plug the microphone into the camera and I'm gonna be recording me saying just a couple of sentences with this microphone and the cheap one and you guys can see and compare the audio, see which one you like more. So this one costs around $335, wait, $349 I got it for. And the other one I got for $15 off eBay plus $5 shipping, so $20 altogether. And you guys can compare if this microphone is worth the $280 more than the $20 one. Let's get into it. All right, guys, this is the microphone I'm testing first, the $20 microphone. Let me know if you like the sound of it. And see if it sounds any better than the road microphone testing testing one two three here we go switching to the road all right the other microphone is out of the picture and now we're just using the road video mic pro so let me know if you like this sound testing testing one two three road video mic pro plus and that's it if you guys liked the video comment subscribe and especially let me down let me know your opinion down in the comments below which mic do you think is better the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus or the $20 microphone I bought of eBay that doesn't even have a brand and see if the Rode and tell me if the Rode microphone is worth the $280 upgrade over the $20 microphone. Peace.